Welcome to our video series on Advanced Features in Microsoft Word. In this video, we'll show you how to create bulleted lists. In this video, I'm going to show how to create bulleted lists. So let's get started, and first of all, let's just create a few short paragraphs. Let's say list item 1, list item 2, and list item 3. Okay, first of all, if you want to change a number of paragraphs into bulleted points, simply select them and click here, and it makes the paragraphs a bulleted list, as you can see. Then, if you change your mind and don't want it as a bulleted list anymore, You can simply select it and click again to revert them back to normal paragraphs. But let's make it a bulleted list again. Now, there are a couple of things about working with bulleted lists. If you want to put space between bullets, if you just press Enter, it creates another bullet, as you can see, and you have a new bullet point. But if you didn't want that, Press the Shift key and press Enter while holding down the Shift key, and it adds some space. So you can then do this to space out your bullets in this way. That's one way of spacing out the look of your list. And also, if you want to grow your list, as you saw, it automatically adds bullet points. So if you just place your cursor after the last bullet and press Enter, A new blank bullet is added to the list. If you want to delete that bullet, or any bullet, just put the cursor there and press backspace. And it's gone. I can do that here if I want. Just put the cursor there and backspace a couple more times. And it's gone. OK, let's select that and get rid of it and start from scratch. If I want to create a bulleted list from scratch, I simply click on the bullet button and then start typing. So list item number one, and this is item number two, and then when you're done with your list, if you press enter not once but twice, it ends the list. So that's a quick introduction to working with bulleted lists. As is true with most things in Word, what's accessible through the toolbar is also accessible through the menu. So if we start typing a new list, let's say item 1 of list number 2, then Format, Bullets and Numbering, and we have a number of options. There are different styles of bullets. And let's go with these, the check marks or ticks. And then you can customize. And here you can make some more advanced decisions, such as different bullet characters. Or you can choose the font. Importantly, this isn't the text font. This is the font where the bullet characters come from. There's a font which you may know as Wingdings. And it isn't an alphabetical font. It's just lots of different characters, such as bullet points, or a diamond shape, or an arrow, and so on. And if we click on Bullet here, this is the entire Wingdings font, all the characters it contains. So you can choose different bullet characters here if you desire. Just by clicking, holding, and dragging, you can make each option larger, so you can choose from different ones. Let's cancel that. And there are other options. You can choose the indent of the bullet, and text position, and so forth. But let's cancel that. Let's just stick with a basic option and choose this. And OK. And there we go. Item 1 of list number 2, and it behaves just like a normal bulleted list. Item 2 of list 2, 
and so on. So that's how you can create and make changes to and work with bulleted lists within Microsoft Word using both the toolbar and the more advanced options available through the Format menu.